Um, going forward, how do you um, how do you handle something like this? No, it, it is concerning because um, you know that's not what we want to represent. That's not who we are as a group. Um, you know, we pride ourselves in staying mentally disciplined, battling through any type of conditions, whether they're, they're good decisions or bad decisions. Um, you know, we're, we're supposed to keep going and respond in, in an appropriate way. And that obviously wasn't the right response from Serginho. He apologized to the group. He said it's not going to happen again. Um, you know, as a, as a team, the players, the staff, we need to hold him accountable because um, it's inexcusable. It really is. And, um, you know, we're very firm with our, with our words after the game. You know, he put a number of guys in jeopardy, made a number of guys do a lot of extra work in this weather. And um, it's inexcusable. Next would be Henry Bushnell from Yahoo. Thanks, Michael. Greg, just to, to follow up on that, um, is this the type of thing where you would, you know, t talk to some the, the senior players, the leadership group, and potentially talk about, um, you know, some sort of discipline for Savino going forward? You know, um, Serge has done a great job uh, of maturing and growing over the years that he's been with the group. Um, and, you know, for him, this has to be a learning experience. It will be a learning experience. Um, you, you know how we work. We, we give people second chances. We work with people. We help them overcome um, instances like this. Um, so, you know, we'll do the same with Sergio. He's a talented player, an important part of our team, and, and we need to have, you know, good conversations with him, make sure we get him on the right track. Next is Paul Tenorio from The Athletic. Thanks. Um, Greg, I wonder how much guys on the team kind of went to Serginio at halftime after the game, how much you allowed the team to, to take a hold of that moment, um, and then how did you try to refocus them at halftime, considering <laughs> not just the shock of the red card, but the manner in which it occurred? Yeah, I mean, it was, it was surreal. Um, and at halftime, we focused on the grind. We focused on what we, were gonna, what we needed to do to, to advance um, and reach our goals. And it really credit the guys that were on the field for their determination. You know, it was a challenging pitch to play on. It was, you know, hot conditions, and the guys hung in there and, and did a good job. And I think that's, you know, that's what I'm proud of. And, you know, we take a negative moment like this, and, and we, we turn it into the positive and saying that it gave guys the opportunity to step up and be accountable. 